What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Mass360 YouTube video. We appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified on a weekly basis when we post new content on this channel, and drop your questions in the comment section below. Any questions around managing and securing iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, Windows laptops, Android phones, and tablets, Whatever those questions are, let us know, and Tyson and I here, my good friend Tyson, will hop into a video, and we'll answer that question and talk through some best practices. But Tyson, thank you for hopping on this video today. I know the topic, I don't know much about this topic, Tyson, that we're talking about, APNS, so I'm, I'm happy we have you, a former Apple genius, now Mass360 sales engineer, hopping on this video to talk through what APNS is and how it plays with Mass360. So Tyson, thank you for hopping on and, and dropping some knowledge on us. Awesome, good to be here. Uh, so basically, Matt, what APNS is, is Apple's uh, push, Apple push notification service certificate. And it's a, it's a vital piece of uh, MDM management because frankly, without it, you can't manage any Apple devices at all. So. It's a requirement from Apple that needs to be renewed every year. You need to get this certificate. So I'm going to actually walk you through uh, the portal and kind of show you how to go about doing that. So, so this is super important. You can't do anything. You cannot this. manage. Correct. You cannot manage Apple devices without an APNS certificate. Okay. So let me share my screen now for you. And that's all. That's all it is. It's just like the approval. It's not. It's not connecting your MDM or anything like that. It's just this certificate is necessary to do anything as far as management wise with your Apple devices. Cool. So this is your Mass 360 homepage. You go to set up services. There's an important note uh, when setting up your APNS certificate. You need to have an associated Apple ID with your certificate. This cannot and should not be a personal Apple ID or a personal business email account. You want to make this something, if you need to create a, a new account for your business, create a Gmail or create an iCloud account that you can use for this APNS certificate and share the password out to all the admins. This cannot be someone's email because if someone passes away, God forbid, or if somebody leaves the company and you don't have the credentials for and the two-factor authentication for this Apple ID, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Super so, important. Yeah, like you will have to re-enroll all of your devices all over again, which means you're going to have to wipe them, you're going to have to re-enroll them into Mass360, and it's going to be a complete nightmare. So this is something you want to hang on to and make sure that you – don't let it, try not to let it expire because it'll interrupt your services. So we don't need to renew the one here right now, but I'm going to walk you through it anyway. So if this says, you know, let's pretend this is tomorrow that this expires. We're going to go in here and we're going to tap renew. You'll put in your uh, company Apple ID. You're going to download this text file. And this walks you through it plain and simple. So you're going to tap on this uh, certificate portal. Uh Password saved, sorry. It's always a lot of passwords we have here at IBM. <laughs> Look at that long password there. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you got to keep it secure. 
That's it. You got to keep them secure. And this is where it's going to have your two-factor authentication. So if this is tied to, even if you have the password to, you know, the account, if the two-factor authentication isn't something that is shared amongst a bunch of people that can get to this two-factor authentication code, you're going to run into Which it wouldn't be. It, <clears throat> I mean, who's going to share that? You're going to share a phone? Uh, the, you could, I think you, I'm not sure. I don't want to speak on, I don't, I don't know. You, you could, if you have devices logged in to an Apple ID. So if you had a shared admin account or something, or like, if you had a device that was logged into that Apple ID, like another device, then you could just authenticate from there too. You don't okay. necessarily need to be sent a code. All right, cool. So then we're going to renew this ticket. A certificate, rather. So the first time you do this, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to create the ticket? Yeah, you'd be creating, yep. Okay, so same process, guys. Text file. I've done this a couple times. <laughs> cool. So the certificate has been confirmed. We're going to download that certificate. We're going to pop back okay. into Mass360. Now that we've downloaded it, we can click continue. We're going to pull that certificate. This is probably number two. Now, this is a certificate password. This just encrypts the certificate like one time. You're never going to use this again. So don't, don't get hung up on what this password is. You're creating a password. It's a one-time password. One time. Literally never use it again. So don't stress yourself out about it. It just has to meet the requirements. So I'll make, I'll make this password a lot shorter. And boom, done. Oh, you've done it. Congratulations. You have renewed your APNS certificate and you are good for another year. Okay. So this is, this is something that we would get set up on the first call on a proof of concept. So Tyson would walk you through how to get this set up for the first time. And then you will get an alert in your portal. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Tyson. You would get an alert in the portal. Hey, your subscription, not subscription, your certificate APNS is coming up for renewal. Click this link to renew it and go through this video. Watch this video to go through that process that Tyson just laid out here. Tyson, yeah. anything else to add regarding this? I don't think so. It's, it's really, uh, I don't want to overcomplicate it. The certificate, okay. like I said, is it's your a certificate from Apple that says you can manage Apple devices. Pretty we'll sure. do another video on tokens and how that integrates with the portal and why those are important. But this is that's all that's that's all that this is. So we're not going to awesome. overcomplicate it. It allows you to use Apple's push notification network. That's awesome. it. Tyson, thank you for hopping in a video. I know we have a lot of videos planned mostly around Apple, Apple Business Manager, stuff like that. So everybody watching, look out for those videos. Like I mentioned at the start, any questions around Apple, Android, Windows, MacBooks, let us know what they are. Tyson and I will hop on videos here and answer those questions. But thank you so much for watching. Like the video and subscribe. But Tyson, thank you for hopping in here again. Appreciate it.